Edge staff would like to provide you with some helpful tips and ideas to have a successful day in the classroom. We'll go into more detail with each of these tips momentarily. Tip number one, preparing for your assignment. Tip number two, welcoming the students. Tip number three, introducing yourself. Tip number four, establishing competency, rapport, and trust. Tip number five, developing an attention getter. Tip number six, establishing smooth transitions, minimizing downtime. Tip number seven, engaging the students. Tip number eight, redirecting misbehavior. The first step in having a successful day of work is preparing for your assignment. Review the guest teacher folder if the school provides one. Familiarize yourself with the procedures for both the building and the classroom. Review all lesson plans and follow them exactly. Clearly write your last name on the board along with the proper title, Mr., Mrs., etc. Next, position yourself at the door to welcome the students as they enter the classroom. Use this opportunity to greet the students, identify leaders to utilize in the class, and take attendance if possible. To begin class, you'll want to introduce yourself, use your formal last name, and also set your expectations for the day. Good morning, I'm Mr. Rent, and I'm going to be your substitute teacher for the day. We're going to have a lot of fun, real productive day, and we're going to learn a lot. Tip number four. Establish competency and trust by communicating that you know the rules. Or if there are no rules stated, use this. We will respect each other and be honest. I want to have a very successful day today. So I have one rule that we need to follow to have a great day together. And that rule is we'll respect each other and be honest. Tip number five, have a way to gain the attention of the class. During the school day, you'll need an effective strategy to gain the attention of the entire class. Devices can be simple, such as shaking a jar of coins, clapping your hands, playing a few notes on the recorder, etc. Tip number six, more than 30 transitions happen in class each day. Establishing an efficient procedure to transition seamlessly between tasks is imperative. Clearly communicate expectations for students, transitioning from one activity to the next. So when I say go, I'd like you to put away your morning work and pull out your textbooks. Tip number seven, engaging the students maximizes classroom control, as well as optimizes lesson plan effectiveness. Engage students with nonverbal strategies, such as clearing your throat, body language, facial expressions, and utilizing proximity control. Verbal strategies include changing tone of voice, addressing students by name, and repetition. Tip number eight. Odds are at some point during your day, you'll have to deal with misbehavior from students. Knowing how to redirect the misbehavior will be a critical tool in managing the classroom and maintaining an effective learning environment. Have planned procedures in place. Do not make them up on the spot. When correcting a student, do so respectfully and without embarrassment. Uh, Jimmy, I see you're not working on the assignment, so let's get back on task, please. Use these tips, plus the materials provided by EDGES staff, to have a safe, fun, and productive day in the classroom. And remember, together, we're going to make the biggest difference.